We've covered the Claris Clear Ice Maker in a previous video, but just last week, Claris reached out to us and has announced that they're gonna be coming out with a model that is featuring a delayed start and a very much requested tray that makes Collins ice cubes. And lucky for us, we got a unit to review. These features aren't set to release until Black Friday of this year, so this is gonna be a great sneak peek. We're gonna make some ice with it and we're gonna make some cocktails to see how the ice stands up. One of our biggest issues with the previous version is that we weren't able to harvest the ice within our eight hour workday. If you haven't seen our last video, the Claris Clear Ice takes about eight to 12 hours to freeze water. And it will only hold that ice for up to six hours after it's been frozen. Now we can delay the start for 11 p.m. and have perfect clear ice ready by 9 a.m. the next day. But there are other uses as well. If you know you're gonna have company coming over, you can delay the start and have your ice ready by the time you're ready to make cocktails. This goes to show you that the delayed start adds some much needed flexibility to this machine. Similar to our last video, we're gonna fill the mold up to the fill line with water and let it freeze overnight. Now, we're gonna place our inserts in. Let's make sure that they're laying flat. Now that our inserts are flat, we then place the mold into the machine and close the lid. We're going to use a delayed start function here, which gives us a delay of two, four, or eight hours. Once the time is up, we're ready to harvest the ice or store it in the freezer. Claris is currently working on a storage tray for the Collins ice, but for the meantime, recommends using a silicone Ziploc bag for storage. Just as a refresher from our last video, this guy freezes from bottom to top, so you are gonna have water at the top. Let's go ahead and pour this water out. Harvest these guys. Very nice. Look at this beautifully clear Collins cube. It's a little thick boy. I can see you and you can see me. Now there are some imperfections on the outside of this cube, probably like the last bits of bubbles that were escaping made their mark, but I can almost assure you that they will go away as soon as you pour a drink on it. As you can tell, this is a little wider than your traditional Collins cube, but I don't mind it. That's just, this just means there's more ice and it's gonna keep my drink colder for longer. This is the second cube that we've harvested from the tray. It's got no imperfections. There's nothing that I can see that's wrong with it. I might leave a few marks from the, from the tongs. As far as the clarity of, of the cube, it's very, very clear. The only thing to note is that the shape is obviously not 100% even. Not every ice cube is gonna come out the exact same shape. One way to address that is to maybe shave it off with a knife, but let's go ahead and see if this will fit in the glass the way it is. This is the third cube in the ice tray. As you can tell, again, just a little bit uneven, but I think this is the one that's mostly even. Very, very clear. Let's see what these look like in cocktails. First up is apples all the way down. This cocktail features a dash of bitters and fresh rosemary that balances the sweetness of this highball and is brimming with flavor. Grab your favorite highball glass, place your Collins cube into the glass, and add three quarters of an ounce of Labroom Company's Real Grenadine, one ounce of apple brandy, half an ounce of lemon juice, and one to two dashes of aromatic bitters. Next, four to six ounces of apple cider while stirring, and garnish. Next, we're going to make a Paloma. This refreshing drink shines with our bright, juicy grapefruit cordial and is a step above other highball cocktails featuring tequila. Grab your favorite highball glass and salt the rim. Next, we place our Collins cube into the glass. Next, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of Rio Red grapefruit cordial, two ounces of tequila, and add four ounces of club soda while stirring. For garnish, we're gonna use a grapefruit wedge. Salute to this Paloma. So there you have it. The new Claris update is clutch. The delay start feature is super handy and the new Collins cubes are amazing. They look great in the cocktail. So we continue to recommend the Claris. The proof is in the pudding. As you can see, the ice is very clear in these two cocktails, and I'm willing to bet it's gonna look the same in every other cocktail that you throw at it. With that being said, keep your eyes peeled. We're gonna keep reviewing other products on this channel, so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them. Until next time, cheers.